Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. I uh, of course have another package in that I got today and uh, here it is. This is by Tech Unite and it's actually a zipper replacement kit. Um, let's pull it apart and see some of the parts. All right guys, so here we go. Uh, as you can see, I just kind of dumped a lot of the stuff out. But that's just to show you kind of what's in it. Uh, first thing we've got is the instruction manual. It's just very basic. Uh, just a few, like it's just a fold out, just front and back, and that's it. So pretty simple, um, obviously fairly easy to do this with. Um, now, as you can see, there are multiple uh, zippers or replacement zipper heads. Uh, so you've got uh, black and silver. You have larger ones like this down to smaller ones like this one. Uh, and then in between, and then uh, of course you have the same thing with the silver, but then you also have ones that are double sided. So if you have a reversible jacket or one that is a liner, which actually is why I bought this one, uh, you can then take and zip it up normally um, to wear it just as it is, or you can turn it around and use it to zip up for the liner section. Uh, now these smaller pieces here, these are actually the stops. Uh, the you have that uh, stop that kind of goes across the bottom if you have a zipper that is stays together all the time sort of like on a pair of pants uh, or a pair of jeans or something like that the zipper doesn't get undone like it does on a jacket and so you have a stop like this that goes across the bottom and holds it together and it just crimps over using the back end there and then you have these ones here these little horseshoe ones and uh, these little horseshoe ones are the ones that are on either side, usually at the top of the zipper. Um, so it keeps the zipper from coming up off of the, or I guess the zipper pull from coming up off of the zippered section. So it keeps it, um, keeps it there, and stops it so it doesn't go any further than that. And then it does come with this pair of nipper slash crimpers. Um, they are basically... Uh, an end nipper where you can kind of cut with them but they're also used to crimp these down onto uh, the zipper section so that they stay in place uh, now i'm actually going to replace one of my zippers so uh, let's go ahead and um, and uh, get the parts that we need for that and uh, we'll go ahead and see what it looks like as we're trying to do this all right, so here we go. I've got my jacket, and uh, this is one that is used as a liner. Um, and as you can see here, it's broken off. Uh, I went through the wash, and the end of it broke off. Um, and so I can slide it up and down, but it's got that little locking mechanism, so it's a real big pain in the butt because you have to keep pulling on this little catch. And uh, the catch will let it go. It'll let it go up, but it won't go back down. And um, that's pretty annoying when... I'm using this as an actual jacket and, you know, I want to be able to take it off. So uh, I've got the zipper that I want to do to replace it. And what I did is I sized it, uh, the bottom, according to the bottom of this. It looks like it's a little bit smaller, but the bottoms actually match. So uh, we're good there. And that's probably one thing that you want to pay attention to when you're doing it yourself. Um, and then I have two of the different sizes here. This is a little bit bigger zipper, so I'm probably going to use that bigger one, but the slightly smaller one may be the one um, that I could use instead. Uh, now, the downside I noticed is that we don't have, we have black zipper pulls, but we don't have the black stops. Um, all of the stops are silver, so um, that's something you want to consider if you guys want to check this out. Obviously, you can see it down there in the description below. There will be a link. Um, so what I guess we're supposed to do, and according to the instructions, is we're supposed to take and pop off the top piece up here, the stop. Now the stop on this is a little bit different, but that's okay. Let's take and remove that. Now the one that was on it, it's plastic, um, which is actually what the, the zipper teeth are. They're plastic rather than metal. And uh, so now what we do is just take this and we can zip it all the way off or pull it all the way off and uh, I can see when you look at the bottom of this um, there's one side that it stands where it has the edges and the other side that's flat this one is not quite the same but it's close one side is doesn't have as long of the of the um, angle pieces as 
the other. So what I'll do is I will match it up so that it kind of goes on there roughly the same way. So uh, now I guess I take and I take the slider and line it back up with the, the garment here with the zipper part and try and get that wedged back in there. All right, so got it on there. I'm going to go ahead and test it and make sure it's, it's fairly tight compared to the other one. But again, it's not the exact same one. So we'll, uh, we'll see, make sure that it works. And as long as it works, we'll go ahead and put the top end on. And there it goes. So success with that. It is, it is a little bit tight. Um, but again, this is not the exact same as this one. So you're probably going to run into that anyhow. And then what we do is we take the little clip and think what I do. Yeah, I can use this smaller one. I don't think I need the bigger one because that's a slightly smaller. It's like the medium size uh, zipper pull. So then I just take that and put it where I want it to stop. And then crimp this down nice and tight. There. So now you can see, you can kind of see where it, it kind of crimped up and the edge bent in and kind of curled around. And now this can zip up and down. It's fairly stiff, so I think I'm going to have to work on a little bit. Um, definitely make sure that these work well when you go to put them on. Um, if you want to loosen this up, you can, of course, put like a little bit of wax on the zipper itself. Um, I guess that's kind of a little trick that I, I heard about uh, a while back. And uh, you can do that so that it, it zips up and down a lot easier. And, you know, there I've got my jacket fixed. And uh, it was pretty easy. Just, uh, just the biggest part was just trying to get the zipper to go on there. But you can, of course, replace your old zippers with new ones. Um, you have, of course, a lot of different sizes here. Small ones that are double-sided large ones and then you have your stops and everything so pretty much everything to repair any kind of a broken zipper pull um, that you may need uh, so if you guys want to check this out go ahead down there in the description below there will be a link to this on the amazon site of course uh, there's going to be the social media down there below as well and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button hit that uh, bell icon so you know when new videos are out of course, that PayPal link that's down there, too, that takes place at Patreon. All right, guys. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.